this video because we are talking about hair growth, which happens to be one of my favorite topics, but this is going to be a little bit different because we are going to go deep into the scalp and talk about the two factors that determine if your hair is going to grow because there's different things involved in your scalp currently that not only determines if your hair will grow, but how much how long your hair will grow. And of course, I'm gonna give you guys some recommendations on what ingredients to look for in a hair growth treatment. So stay tuned. Okay, so when it comes to hair growth, a lot of times we focus so much on the hair itself, but in this video, let's focus more so on the scalp. Now the hair is important because if your hair is dry and if it's breaking, of course you're not going to be able to see the growth that your scalp is giving you because your hair is not retaining the limp. So moisture is key when it comes to hair growth. But for the sake of this video, I really want us to focus on the source of hair growth, which is the scalp. So as you guys know, the scalp is full of blood vessels. And I want you guys to start thinking of hair growth like this. It is the amount of blood flow that determines the hair growth. Blood determines hair growth. And a lot of times for those who suffer from like alopecia or hormonal issues or stress or aging, if you're smoking and you're having like issues with growing your hair, a lot of times the blood flow is just not getting to the root of your hair. It's not getting to the hair shaft because the vessels are constricted. And when the vessels are constricted, it makes it very difficult for blood to even get through the vessel because it's so tight. So we have to look at okay what are the factors involved that determine blood flow so I look at it as like a lock and key method okay so we talked about the scalp the blood vessels let's go a little bit deeper and look at the growth factors involved now when it comes to the lock itself there are different locks involved you have the insulin like growth factor which happens to be a growth hormone throughout our body and within our scalp and then we have alkaline phosphatase which is a protein and this protein is so unique, it actually speeds up the rate of reaction of hair growth. Now, a lot of times for those who are suffering from hair loss or having issues with growing their hair, they have a low amount of alkaline phosphatase. So the question is, how can we increase alkaline phosphatase. And the reason why you want to do this is because research has shown that not only does it relax the blood vessels, which allows blood flow to flow through to the scalp, but it also widens the vessels, which allows more blood flow to even get to the shaft itself, which is great. And what this then does is increase the antigen phase. Okay, so your hair right now is going through different growth cycles. You have the antigen phase, which is the growth cycle your hair is actually growing, even as we speak. You have the canogen phase, which is the stop phase, or your hair is just not growing, it's just there. And then you have the talogen phase or the shedding phase. You know, our hair sheds at least 50 to 100 strands a day. What we want to do is increase that growth phase, that antigen phase. And when you have an increase of alkaline phosphatase, the antigen phase is increased. And what this does is that it increases your growth rate and gives you longer hair. So now that we have the locks, let's talk about the keys or the ingredients involved that will unlock the blood flow within the scalp. Okay, so when it comes to the key that you should be looking for, number one, of course, there are so many hair growth treatments out there. There's supplements, and supplements are great. I think a hair vitamin is great to have in your regimen. But personally, I feel like you're trying to grow your hair, having a hair growth oil would be ideal because you want something that's going to go directly on the scalp, topically on the scalp, ideally in oil because oils have a better affinity to the skin on the scalp because our skin loves oil. When it comes to oils they're really separated to two categories you have your carrier oils and you have your essential oils carrier oils are things like castor jojoba avocado olive essential oils are things like tea tree rosemary eucalyptus now essential oils in my opinion are going to be the bread and butter of hair growth because they're very concentrated and they're so unique with amazing beneficial properties and a lot of times your favorite hair growth oils on the market are going to have some type of essential oil on them now when it comes to carrier oils there are not a lot of um, proven carrier oils that have 
shown hair growth. However, castor oil is very unique because oils contain fatty acids and castor oil has a very unique fatty acid in it called resinolaic acid. It's my understanding resinolaic acid actually improves blood flow to the scalp. So that is one carrier oil I will recommend for hair growth, but the majority of hair growth factors that can activate growth, hair growth factors like the alkaline phosphatase are going to be essential oils because they have terpenes in them. And terpenes will allow these oils to penetrate deep within the scalp to activate. That is when the blood flow can increase, your scalp is stimulated, and your hair becomes longer. So I know it was a lot of information, but hopefully you guys learned something new about what to look for and even how your hair growth currently works. All right, I have a question for you guys as always. What is one hair growth product that you've tried that's currently on the market that you have used? Share below, because I'm curious, because there's so many things out there. So if you guys have tried something that's on the market that you guys like and have seen results with, please comment below and share below with everyone. And I look forward to joining the conversation with you. Make sure you guys subscribe for more curly chemistry content like this and notifications are on. My next video is going to be on how to improve your wash days. It's going to be so good. You're not going to want to miss it. And thank you guys for liking this video and commenting below and sharing this video on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter with your friends and your family. And thank you guys for getting the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care Ingredients. I'm so glad that it is helping you and changing the way you look at ingredients. And for those, once again, who have been signing up for consultations with me, I cannot wait to work with you. The link is below if you're working on a hair care line. All right? So I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.